Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the RX 580, as you can see right here in MSI Afterburner, as well as here in the Radiant settings. This is the 8GB model of the RX 580, by the way, and of course, we're gonna be testing Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, 3, actually, yes, it's Season 3, <laughs> in DirectX 12 mode, of course. So I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X in 16 gigs of RAM. As usual, you only need something like a Ryzen 3 3300X to achieve the same frames that we're about to see in this video, so keep that in mind you don't need the 3700x okay and i'm gonna be playing of course at 1080p using the low competitive which is low with epic view distance medium medium no shadows high high with no shadows and epic epic with no shadows and as you can see of course directx 12 is enabled right here and it's still in beta so we might encounter some issues here and there let's do this all right everybody we're here in the battle buzz and i know some of you were expecting a geforce 210 video today but uh it was just not possible okay i installed the latest drivers for it i installed everything right and the game just wouldn't launch in the geforce 210 unfortunately because of course the geforce 210 doesn't have directx 11 support so it can't really run fortnite but surprisingly it runs overwatch which also doesn't really have directx 10 support but maybe it does because it actually works i don't know guys <laughs> Let me know if you want a GeForce 210 video during the next weekend. Those are the bugs. Look at those bugs from DirectX 12. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I've never seen those, actually. Anyways, guys, here we go. DirectX 12 in the RX 580. No stuttering whatsoever. We didn't really see any big stutters getting out of the buzz as well. So that's always a very good thing. And we got our first one, by the way. But yeah, it should smooth out right now. And uh, as you can see, like... It's, yeah, it doesn't really stutter too much. So you're fine if you want to play in DirectX 12 mode with the RX 580. Let's see if I can, like, shoot that one. Maybe not. Okay. Um, okay, I got him. All right. Good job, mate. The last video that I made here was uh, the GT710. I recorded it yesterday and with the face cam and everything and it was really unplayable at 1080p low settings. We were getting like 20 FPS or even lower than that. So uh, it's amazing to see 200 plus on average once again here with the RX 580, which is actually performing kind of the same as the RX 570 to be honest, guys. Okay, I got the shields out of that one. But yeah, guys, uh, you can see that our GPU usage is not really maxed out like it was in the RX 570 so that's why we're seeing this kind of the same FPS actually the CPU is actually bottlenecking our RX 580 slightly very very slightly here in Fortnite with DirectX 12 which is weird because DirectX 12 is supposed to remove like CPU bottlenecks or um, at least improve it so it's weird that we're getting pretty similar FPS to the 570 and uh, in, I, I think in DirectX 11, we also saw pretty decent FPS, like higher than these actually. So that's just weird right now. Still, if you do have a CPU bottleneck, I highly recommend you to play with the, oh God, with the DirectX. Oh my God, no, 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 no. All right, I'm building guys. I am building. I'm not, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my God, please. My boys are all dead. I don't want to die. Are you going to look in this place? I don't know, guys. But okay, there are our results. I guess DirectX 11 really did perform a little bit better than this. I'm not sure why. Maybe because we tested in another area. I don't know. I don't remember really. But still, it's very interesting that DirectX 12 is not really performing that great. Oh, my God. Compared to 11 here with the 580. All right, guys. I'm going to stop talking about CPU bottlenecks and stuff like that. And we're just going to play from now on. All right. So, yeah. If you have that Ryzen 3 3300X, you're fine. And you'll get the same FPS here. If you have something faster like an i5 10600K, for example, you're going to get slightly higher FPS here in DirectX 12. Not a big difference. So, yeah. Look at the trees, guys. Like, this is the problem with DirectX 12. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crap. Of course, once you're down there, everything loads in, but still, what the hell? It seems like we're playing with a GeForce 210 after all. Nah, just kidding, guys. This is, this is a much better experience, of course. The game opens. <laughs> oh, no. Our boys are already dying. God damn it, guys. Can't you please just run away from them like me? <laughs> Wait a second. I can do this. I can do this. Nice. I got one of them. We're fine, guys. Good, good, good. Very nice. Did you get the other ones, Blats? Let's go. <laughs> okay, there's one of them. Nice. 
Almost. Almost got him. Is he dead? No. Yeah, he is. Okay, good job, guys. Where are the others? Oh my god, oh my god, these bots. These bots are gonna take the shields off of me, probably. And I'm not gonna like it. Where are they? Where are the humans? Where are the humans? There's one in here of them. Okay, got him. Good, that was the last human. Right, good stuff, guys. The FPS are probably lower than DirectX 11 again, which I find very, very weird, but, well, it's just how it is. With the RX 570, we also saw a slightly lower FPS in DirectX 12 compared to DirectX 11, which is not a thing that happens, like, usually in other games, but it does happen in Fortnite. Right, so we got 202 FPS on average, 145, 1% lows. Of course, you can still run a high refresh rate monitor here, absolutely fine. And the thing is, if you do have a CPU bottleneck, like, for example, you have a Ryzen 5 1600 with the RX 580, you will see much higher frames in DirectX 12 compared to DirectX 11. It's just if you have something like the 3300X, 3600, that you will see, like, a little bit lower FPS in DirectX 12 compared to 11 so keep that in mind it's just what happened with for example the rx 5700 xt we were massively cpu bottlenecked at 1080p with that card in directx 11 of course so switching to directx 12 it it gave us a huge boost in performance we're gonna do medium settings and we're probably gonna have to leave because it's gonna stutter all over the place and indeed that is the case look at that frame time and frame rate graph it has tons of spikes and it's completely unplayable and I really need to restart the game right now so it is smooth again, as you can see. Yeah, it's completely unplayable. Let's go. And here we go. We're in the ground. I'm gonna start counting the FPS, of course. I'm not sure if anybody dropped here with us, to be honest. And uh, let's do this. We're quite far away. We're probably gonna die. We're, we're gonna go on, uh, somewhere else, guys. Let's go here. <laughs> By the way, you can see that the stutters are gone. Completely gone. Just because I restarted this. Okay, so... Yeah, that's why I do that. DirectX 12 doesn't really work that well still. At least applying settings in the middle of the game. So, we gotta live with that. You know what, guys? At this point, I'm really not sure if I should test, like, the 1660 Ti, the 1650 and 1650 Super, for example, in DirectX 12. Because it's probably gonna be like the RX 580 here they're gonna run a little bit more smoothly but a little bit slower in the FPS or average at least you know so um, I, I don't know I don't know what to do to be honest guys just tell me in the comments down below if you want to see the DirectX 12 video of those cards because I still have like 10 or 15 more GPUs to test here in Fortnite and if I'm making the DirectX 12 modes in the other GPUs uh, of course it's gonna take a longer time to do everything and I'll be making Fortnite videos for eternity. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pick up this thing buddy. Let's do this. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna go with this actually. I like the SMG. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Goddamn bots, man. Seriously. And let's reboot them in the van right, right there, guys. Perfectly positioned van for us right here. They're gonna help us, of course. And our boy's down as well, so that sucks. But anyways, guys, if you want a high refresh rate experience here on medium settings with the 580, this is definitely it. And I think you should be able to get this with something like a Ryzen 5 1600 as well, because DirectX 12 is amazing, of course, when it comes to CPU bottlenecks again. All right, here we go. 157 FPS on average, 120 FPS, 1% lows. Really good stuff. Let's disable the shadows and get pretty much the same FPS. Well, like slightly higher, I guess. Uh, the shadows are only really, really intensive on high settings as as well as epic settings not really too much at the medium settings but if you want to play on medium with the medium settings fidelity of course visual fidelity and of course if you want to disable the shadows to have a competitive advantage well you can definitely do it and still retain above like 140 fps on average okay here we go we're finally in the boat and can somebody please put on the uh, kitty 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 i would very much like to hear kitty 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 song right now guys that would be amazing <laughs> Guys, please help. Please help, guys. Oh, God. Okay. I'm fine. Everything... Okay, they have grenades as well. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Go inside of the circle, actually, guys. That might be a good idea. And I landed that shot. All right. That was insane. That was great. I got him. All right. We should move on right now. 
Got him. Let's go. No, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they're so close to us. Oh my gosh, what the hell? No! Okay, everybody, we're here once again in the battle bus. 1080p high settings this time around, as you can see right here. And let's go. Uh, where should we go, my friends? Lazy Lake. Okay, we can go to Lazy Lake. And how many squads are dropping here with us? At least two, I think. Yeah, not sure. Like, there's three guys dropping there, one guy going there. I don't know, guys, but uh, we should be fine, I think. Let's go. Let's start counting our FPS now that we are in the ground once again. And once again, I think this is pretty similar to what we got in high settings with the RX 580. I think I also tested it here in Lazy Lake in DirectX 11. By the way, yep, in DirectX 11. I forgot to say that. <laughs> it, maybe it's actually a little bit slower. I don't know. So this guy doesn't have a gun. Good, good, good. Very nice. Sweet dreams, buddy! Okay, we got shields here because our boys just dropped some shields. And are these guys bots? Maybe they are, I don't know. They don't have shields, they are just there, standing there. They don't build. Uh, I really hope that we're playing against bots, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's kind of not that satisfying to get a kill when you're playing against bots, of course. And I really do think that we're getting like 10 less FPS than high settings in DirectX 11, guys, here with the 580. So that's really, really weird. Those are not bots, are they? Maybe they are. I don't know. They're not shooting at us. I... I... That's good, you know? I, I love this. Look at the guy. He's just here shooting at the guy and I'm right in front of him, but what the hell is going on? I love these guys. I want to play against them more often. <laughs> okay, that's probably the last one of the squad, I think. Yep, this is a bot, right? It has to be a bot. What the, the, this is not the last one, though. Well, that's the last one. And look at him! Oh, two of them! That's another squad! What the heck is going on? So many people right now. There's still one left. <laughs> okay, then. I really need ammo. Here we go. High with no shadows. DirectX 12. 1080p resolution. We're fine. Hello, guys. What's going on? Should we break the board? We gained about, like, what? 20 to 30 FPS on average here by disabling the shadows. That's a massive difference. I can definitely tell the difference in smoothness. Uh, of course, you guys can tell because you're, you're watching the video with 60 FPS because of YouTube. But believe me, I'm running a high refresh rate monitor and I can definitely tell the difference between like 115 to 130 FPS on average and 90 to 100 FPS on average. It's way smoother like this. It's very close to like a 120 Hertz experience. And if you do have a 120 Hertz monitor, which they are pretty cheap nowadays in the used market, I highly recommend a high refresh rate monitor with the RX 580. It really makes a difference in my opinion and I'm just way more accurate with higher FPS, although I'm not really that good anyways, but still. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the hell? I didn't know you could explode the gas stations. All right, then. <laughs> Guys, am I gonna do this? Nice, I got him. It's time to man up and help our boys. Right, that's me helping. <laughs> And finally, guys, here we go, last game of the video, 1080p, epic settings right now, DirectX 12, of course, and uh, if it's anything like the other settings, uh, it's not gonna be great, guys, it's probably gonna drop from 60 FPS uh, quite a bit, because in DirectX 11 it did drop quite a bit from 60 as well, into like the mid-50s, at times it was mostly above 60 FPS, but I think as DirectX 12 is performing a little bit worse right now, it's probably gonna drop into the 50s quite often. Anyways, let's start counting our FPS over here. As you can see, everything seems to be smooth inside of houses, of course. So a 60 FPS experience, 60 Hertz experience as well. But I would honestly play on high settings because it, it runs so much smoother and it looks basically the same. So, right. So 58, 57, 56, 55, 54. Not the greatest experience, guys. We should keep on moving. And as you can see, we're dropping from 60. 
mixed even here where there aren't really any bushes around us only like trees trees are really demanding though that's probably why it's dropping but there are a lot of trees right here guys look at that this is amazing this is another like intensive area i would say kind of like the whipping woods right there or what remains of it mm, direct x11 was really performing better here for my surprise i was really expecting the amd gpus to do a much better job at direct x12 but again remember that it's on beta so uh, things might not be really that well optimized oh god there's a guy there uh, we should move on from here right now and as you can see there are no trees around here and we're still getting below 60 and with DirectX 11 we were getting above 60 so this is a major difference between the two APIs kind of the opposite of what I was thinking 60 FPS on average flat right there and I'm just gonna disable the shadows here and play uh, okay and as you can see right now it's a very smooth experience again Seriously, do I really need the fishing rod stuff like right in front of my screen? Like I'm trying to see there and yeah, that's that's kind of a little bit too bad, isn't it? They, they should fix that. Uh, they got shotguns and stuff. We're doing this. We're doing this or trying to. Where are the others? There they are. Okay. Mm. 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 This is bad guys. They, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. No. Okay. Okay. There's one of them. Okay, I'm trying. One there. Okay, all right. He's almost dead. Nice. I got one. I got one. That's all I wanted. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Oh my god. What the? Guys, please. Nice. We're doing this. Good, good, good. Very nice job. Oh my god. What the? What the hell? Okay then. Guys there, we got a jump pad there as well, uh, not sure what to do right now guys. Should we take this fight? It's probably not a good idea, I'm just gonna heal. Oh no, no I'm not gonna heal now. No, 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 oh, oh my god, so many, what the hell is going on? There are so many squads right here. Right, buddy, no, oh my gosh, what the hell? I need to do this. There are so many guys here! What? Oh boy! Okay, anyways, this is it. 100 FPS on average, 71 FPS on trend lows. Pretty intensive stuff right here, to be honest. I was really not expecting, like, 30 squads. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the performance was really disappointing, really. I was expecting a lot better here from 580. Leave this a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Love you all. Bye bye